Well, hello, chaps and chapettes, and welcome to the new year of 2018. And also welcome to the Double Back Monthly, which is a video blog that I set up in conjunction with my Patreon, but you don't have to be a Patreon subscriber to enjoy this video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about everything that I did in the last month, which was December 2017. Yeah, I'm going to have to get used to saying those two numbers back to back pretty quickly. Anyway, in the first section, I do the review of reviews, which is a section where I go through all the videos that, that I produced and um, any podcasts that I've done as well. And then I do my section, the first and the last, which is a first impression section where I talk about games uh, that I play for the very first time. And they may be games that I play again and they may be games that I never play again. So uh, yeah, look out for that. And then I go to my question time segment, which I think I've called something else and I can't remember for the life of me. So you just have to accept that the third segment is the third segment. And in the third segment, I will be talking, maybe in the vineyard or maybe here in this boring room. But anyway, then the fourth segment is of course, the prize draw that I do, my monthly prize draw for my Patreon subscribers who have uh, donated above the $5 limit. They will all be put into a little raffle to win a prize. Ha ha ha, what's that prize? You'll have to wait and see until that section arrives. So before more is done, uh, that's not how you say it. But anywho, let's move on. Rolling. So what have I reviewed this month? Well, unfortunately not a lot due to the fact that I've had a very sickly, poorly baby who, because they're sick, they can't go to their gardery, which is a kindergarten. Um, so that means that you're left holding a baby. But anywho, I did manage to review and, uh, well, do a first impressions video and a how to play video for the game The Living Planet, which was on Kickstarter at the end of last year. In Living Planet, it is a game where players have, you know, they're, they're the heads of major corporations, a bit like in Alien, where they've come to a planet and they are just extracting all the resources that they can possibly extract from the planet before it explodes. And uh, this planet is fighting back. There'll be earthquakes and tornadoes, um, which will be destroying your buildings, killing your people. So you need to be careful and you need to research and, and build bases which will protect you from these kind of events. And it's a, a kind of economy game. Um, it is... It's a really up and down kind of game. It's been fun and it's been scary and it's been sad as well. Um, I'm looking forward to playing a bit more of this game in the future. Um, I've been asked by the designer Christophe Boulanger to um, test out some of the expansions um, when they have the, the prototype components ready. So um, I'm looking forward to this one. It was successfully funded. So um, you can check out those videos and find out what you missed out on. And it probably might come later on as another Kickstarter or goes direct to retail. So uh, that's the living planet. And the only other video I did was a top 10 list. Yes, one of those money sucking, thumb licking, kiss butting, kiss butting? Yeah, I suppose you could call it that. But one of those videos where I just talk about my favorite games. Um, these kind of lists are very hard. People seem to churn out top 10 lists willy nilly. Um, and I, you know, I just don't believe that they are, they are genuine, so to speak. Um, so I put a lot of time and consideration into doing just this one list, uh, which I'm going to do yearly. And it's my top 10 favourite games. The games that I play the most, the games that I enjoy playing, and most importantly, they are the games that I would drop anything to play. So if someone said, do you want to play this? I would say yes and stop whatever I'm doing. Maybe I'm playing another game and I would play this game. So um, check out this top 10 list. You may be surprised at my favourite games. Yes, I'm definitely surprised, but I'm not surprised at the same time because they are really good games and I just love playing those games. Um, kind of a spoiler, these games on the list are games that, as I said, I play a lot of and I enjoy playing them because of their simplicity and because, you know, you don't have to teach someone the rules. Everybody at the table knows the rules and we just go bang and we play and it's a real battle to the end. Yeah. And finally, Berkey and Badger were back on the scene with the wonderful Scott Alden. 
of Board Game Geek. Yes, the creator of Board Game Geek joined us for some giggles and some, you know, kind of interesting discussion about board games that, you know, are sat on your shelves, and they shouldn't be sat on your shelves, but they're still sat on your shelves because you want them to be sat on your shelves. Those kind of, not guilty pleasures, but those games which have, like, one drawstring which keeps pulling you back into, you know, playing it, even though, you know, if you reviewed it, you'd probably only give it a 5 out of 10 because of its components, or, you know, um, your friends might just say, this is the worst game in the world, but you love playing it. So um, yeah, we, we explore games that, you know, have that one just great thing which keeps it in our, on, in our collections and on our shelves. And we also interview Scott himself and find out what his current favorite games are, the games that he wants. And we do this in a quiz style kind of fashion. So um, it's quite humorous and quite funny. So you can either watch the live direct YouTube video or you can go to Podcast Garden or obviously uh, Board Games Everybody Should or even Board Game Theatre and uh, listen to the audio and download the audio podcast which is a bit shorter, edited and has lots more weird sound effects going on. So that was my hectic December. What is coming up in January this year? Well, you'll find out in the third segment. But now let's just talk about games that are played for the first time. So, looking at my back computer, I can see all the games that I have played uh, in the month of December. And there's a couple of brand new games which I've never played before. The first one of those is Pioneer. Now, Pioneer is a Western style game where you are taking over practically the whole of America way back in the day as cowboys. You'll have your, wa your stagecoach filled with people and you'll be going around America. You'll be building roads between cities and cities and you're going to be dropping off these people into different towns and they give you bonuses as you go. It's a very simplistic Euro game where you are just basically trying to figure out the best way to move this stagecoach along the tracks of America. And you get bonus points at the end of the game for having like the longest route or the longest connections of routes. Um, the thing is there's some interaction because sometimes you'll have to, you'll be forced by the other players to use their routes, which means that you'll have to pay them some expenses. So there is some player interaction. And it, it, it's a very, very light to medium type of game. It's very simple to learn. Um, the artwork is really colorful and simple to see. And as I said, there's these bonuses that you're going to get, and you, so you're calculating your bonuses and what's the best thing for you to do. And there's always a lot of choice and you know things for you to do. And you can get many, many stage coaches, so you can get loads of different people. But you can only score these stage coaches when they're empty. So you're going to drop these people off into towns. So um, yeah, it's not too bad. Is it my cup of tea? I'd probably have to play it a few more times. I'm kind of like meh at the moment. It's, it's in the middle of the road. It's not a fantastic game, but it's not a crap game, if you know what I'm saying. It was very kind of like going through the motions. Um, I didn't feel the theme very much. Um, and it just kind of like I'd rather connect trains, ticket to ride style. But the, that was Pioneers. Another new game that I played was called Ilios, which is a very, very, again, very light, simple game where you're discovering a world and collecting resources. Yes, this is set way back in, a, in the olden days, and you're going to be setting up these boats on these islands, and you're going to be exploring these islands and exploring the sea and building the map even bigger. And this is all done with a deck of cards. Your cards will let you do an action, but you'll have to spend other cards to perform that action. Again, some actions will be restricted because you're gonna need a certain amount of boats maybe on an island so you can go digging for gold. Um, you may want to be nasty and send one of your boats to the pirate island so they become pirates, which means that the cost of everything for the other players is higher and uh, you can be a real pain in the neck for them. There's also this little market thing going on as well, so you can be collecting resources each time uh, by setting up these little pioneers 
on the islands digging stuff up and and you sell this stuff in a market and that will bring the price up at the end of the game when it's a very quick game once one player has got rid of all of their pioneers um, and there's 10 for each player the game ends and then you count up all the resources you've got and you compare it to the market and the player with the most points is the winner it's very um, it's a number one it's a very well produced small game uh, the components themselves are amazing the artwork is really cute and colorful the game itself is very simplistic um, and I enjoyed it but I want to play it with more players playing a two-player game it's kind of dull this game goes up to five players and I think with five players there's going to be so much going on again the map will be bigger um, this this was a really enjoyable game um, it's probably not a game which is going to hold my attention for a long time but in the meantime it's, it's holding my attention so I'm going to look forward to playing that again one last one which is not really a brand new game that I've played for the first time because I have played it for the a, before but it is a game that has a new format and that is Star Wars Imperial Assault yes the game is now out with an app so you don't need someone to play Vader and his posse you can just be um, the heroes all the players can be heroes and explore the worlds and universes of the Star Wars universe thingy yes I'm not a fan of Star Wars but I love the universe the universe is colorful vibrant imaginative stories suck and so hopefully this game is going to bring some interesting stories and so far it has um, playing the the app campaign the commands for all the bad players are very simple and very easy to understand there's not really much confusion much like there was in Descent um, and it just feels good to play Star Wars and blast stuff from miles away um, this game's been sat on my shelf for a long time and hasn't had much play because it's it's Star Wars and my daughter doesn't read English I got the English version although I've got the French version of Descent the English version of Star Wars so I've got both of them so I can play with French people and English people but this game is just it's it's come alive because of this app this app has done it justice it plays really well it plays very fluidly um, and it's very interesting because things are always uh, developing as you go through the story you, you go you go here and do something and something different will happen um, I'm looking forward to the app being more and more having more and more content placed on it so there'll be more little mini missions between your main missions um, and obviously there'll be different campaigns later on again this is a, this is a thing which is going to be developing over the course of time and it is I enjoyed it um, I tip my hat to Fantasy Flight for doing something good with their game not just not giving you enough dice or making you have to buy lots of other stuff because this makes you want to buy more stuff I've already looked on Amazon for some more add-ons so I can just have lots of stuff going on <laughs> but anyway that's Star Wars Imperial Assault So section three is called still question time, which kind of fits the situation. It is a question time. And the question I'm gonna answer in this section, don't forget you can send a question in if you want, otherwise I gotta keep on making up questions. Uh, the question is, what am I currently working on? Well, I'm currently working on not trying to kick the tripod stand so the camera does that. Um, but um, yeah, I am, as well as doing video reviews for you guys, uh, I am currently working with various editors um, on their games. Editors, publishers, have you wish to call it. In French, it's called editor. Les éditions. Um, so, uh, one of the things that I am still working on and have been working on for a month or so is, you can just about see it there. Yeah, the seventh continent. I am still composing music for the soundscapes uh, of the expansions for the Area 11 and Area 12 which is going along swimmingly at the moment I have produced five pieces of music um, and I've sent them away and they are evaluating them and deciding where they should go and how they should go um, and if they're good enough as well because not all music is hmm. 
But um, yeah, so I am currently working in my spare time when I have like a good hour or two and some little melody in my head. I am working over there in the other corner of the room going and making music. And later on I'll be adding in the effects of whatever area it is. So if it's in the sky or if it's on the ground, I'll do it. So that's one of the things that I'm working on. Another thing that I'm working on, and you can't see that one, because I'm gonna have to do that. It's right up there. Yeah, Batman. That's a Kickstarter which is coming in February, the end of February, 27th to be exact. And I am dealing with some of the communications and questions that are coming across the board at the moment um, on the internet involved with Batman. I've also got the prototype which is sat just over there. Look, it's over there. I said, look, over there. Look, 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 look. It's on the table. There it is. And I'll be doing a video for that as well very, very, very soon. So, um, yep, I, I'll, I'll be doing stuff with Monolith. I've also been doing the uh, voiceovers for the video. So I have been busy, B. What else am I involved in? Well, there's another game, Kickstarter game coming very, very soon called Badass Force, which is by, let's see if I can say his name, Gish, Gishlin Masson, who did Not Alone, which was very, very successful. Um, this is another game um, in the kind of same kind of jar, but it's not really. It's about 80s movie stars, action stars, and uh, each player is going to be trying to eliminate um, the other players action stars and you'll have like Sigourney Weaver and you'll have Bruce Willis and you'll have Arnold Schwarzenegger and it's a kind of bluffing deduction game where you're you're loading up your weapons and but you're also trying to figure out who the other characters are and uh, each character has their own special powers and it's a, a kind of just a, a real bluffing game so to speak kind of thing and um, yeah that's coming very soon and I'm going to be campaign manager on that and also of course doing an explanation video of how the game plays so you know how it works and just recently I am involved in another game called Immortal 8 which is coming at the beginning of March and I don't know much about this game because I still haven't played it I'm going to be playing it sometime this week it's a kind of seven wonders drafting game but it's a sieve building game and it plays very 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 quickly and it's in a fantastical uh, medieval world and that's all I know at the moment if you want to find out more you can always go to Board Game Geek and uh, check these titles out um, just by clicking you know typing in the names and um, that's what I'm working on so as well as doing reviews and I've got lots of reviews to still do I am so behind, but that's what happens when you become a parent and and people ask you to do things and you say, yes, I'll do that for you. So there you go. I am a busy bee, a busy, busy bee. And uh, hopefully it stays that way because it's fun to be busy. And hopefully my production values won't drop and hopefully they will augment a bit. Yes, I hope they do too. So um, there you go. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. Yeah. Let's go to the raffle, the prize draw. <laughs> Here we are in the prize draw section of my video. Yes, um, I'm going to start by saying the thank yous first. So I'm going to say thank you to our new contributor, Robert. Thank you very much, mate, for your uh, contribution. Compu uh, communication let me down, but I'm still here. Yeah, so anyhow, um, yeah, thank you, Robert, for your donation. Um, maybe you'll be a first time lucky winner and get your name drawn out of this bag pretty quickly. I say bag and I say name. It's a tile. Anywho, so thank you, Kevin. You're a good friend. Um, I much appreciate all the hard work you've done with me and your support as well. So thank you, mate. Curly T, you've been here a long time and I'm going to need to get you on the show, maybe. I think. Yes. 
I think Berkey mentioned it too. Anywho, Elephant Girl, Liev. Thank you again. Big, 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 big thank you. Uh, good to see you again at Essen. Hopefully I'll see you soon at another event. Yes, because it was, it was refreshing. It broke my day up, it really did. And of course, Olivier. You are a superstar and a, you've won many times as well, mate. So, um, merci beaucoup, c'est super sympa. Also, thank you, Monsieur Paul Grogen of the Gaming Rules. He is, yes, one of my supporters and uh, he is very much appreciated and we have good chats from time to time online. And last but not least, I'm gonna say thank you to Andrew. Um, again, you, you deserve as much praise as all the other guys, so thank you very much. So, that's the thank yous out the way. Let's get to the prize draw. Who's gonna win my prize which I didn't bring to the table? Yes. I give away a free copy of my a digital download of my soundtrack uh, last night and I also throw in a few promos and I am now looking at getting some small games sent away as well so starting from probably next month January we will be we it's me it's me I'm alone baby I will be giving away a free game as a prize in my draw. It won't be anything big, right? It won't be. It won't be Dragon Castle. It won't be. It won't be Kemet, and it won't be something like that. It'll be something very small, but it'll be a free game, which I think you deserve. So, without further ado, let me do the prize draw because I've had to name all these tiles. These tiles are courtesy of Dragon Castle, which is a <laughs> a nice refreshing abstract game which I really love um, and uh, I need to teach my wife she still hasn't played it everyone else has played it apart from her so Robert you are going to be the red swordy tile okay in you go into the dragon castle bag. Kevin you are the black cloudy tile not that you're cloudy in any way or shape or form blue the blue sun tile is Olivier. In you go, like that. And um, I, I just, Liev, you have my favorite color. You have the green bamboo. Well, that leaves Curly T with the pink dragon. Yes, Curly. I thought of you. I thought of your curly hair and a curly dragon. And I thought, yeah, you, you, you can have the pink curly dragon. So I'm going to take one of these tiles out the bag and that person is going to be the lucky winner this month. And would you believe it, it's green. It's green and it's bamboo. So it's Liev. Thank you very much Liev for your donations and well done for winning another prize draw. I must have, this, this can't, is this fixed? This can't be fixed. You win every time. Anywho, it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's a pleasure to have you all with me. Uh, thank you for your support. This video has probably dragged on way too long and you're probably bored mindlessly now. So um, all I can say now is thank you very much. Um, and I will see you in the next few videos, which are coming soon. And if not, you'll see me at the end of January and I'll have a game to give away. So ciao for now. And play nice to each other, please. Please. Just sitting at the table next to Felicia would be quite nice Wouldn't it be good I got some board games, games.